gas station log. New tour of the house. Got some things set up. Still not. I still can't really do anything with the living room. I don't have any furniture or anything to put my TV on. So, so it's just kind of sitting here. In here, in my kitchen, I got my tea thing set up. Yay! I've got some English breakfast to drink. Washer and dryer fit very tightly but nicely right in here. This is going to be my office. This is where I spend most of my time. I just need to be able to put my books up. This is my new setup. Window unit Keep, is keeping the entire house cool. This room is still empty. And this is where I sleep. So yeah. Gas station log. Hey buddies, what's up? I'm about ready to go to work. And um it's just it's it's funny how certain things in your life they happen like synchronicity. The other night I was sitting here in my god awful hot house. It was so hot. And Blake sent me a message um, on Facebook. And he's like, hey, check this out. We played this tonight at our show. They went up to Chicago to play the one of their biggest shows that they've ever played. And they went up to Chicago and they played this set. And they're in a punk band called No Solution. And, um, um, and so I clicked the link to the video. And it's them playing Hey Suburbia by the Screeching Weasels by Screeching Weasel, or whatever the frick they're called. And, and, and then yesterday, I, I have this friend on Facebook, and she plays bass in this band, and I, for whatever reason, I've never gotten around to bother to try to check out this band. I've literally known this girl since we were kids. So yesterday, I decide, okay, you know what, I'm, the radio buzz kills. I see, po I see stuff, you know, them doing stuff, and she's posting pictures of shows they're playing all the time. I'm gonna, I I'm gonna try to actually check these guys out, because, I mean, shoot, I mean, I know it's a long time removed, but, like, I used to be very involved in bands and trying to put together shows, and there's just no market for it here where I live now, but, like, you know, so I used to be really into that, like, oh, there's a new band, I'm gonna check them out. So I finally got around to checking these guys out, and they're actually really good. And they they remind me a lot of early Screeching Weasels. So, like, it's never just one thing. It's one thing, and then another thing, and pretty soon, the next thing you know, like, I'm listening to Screeching Weasel all the time again. It's crazy. So, Screeching Weasel's pretty awesome. I got into Screeching Weasel 20 years ago, when I was in Bible college. Some friends of mine had started a band called the Dyslexics, and they got me into Screeching Weasel and the Ramones, stuff like that. Over the years, I've managed to collect Screeching Weasel's entire discography, and so here I am, and Screeching Weasel's coming back up. Oh, this band, they sound like Screeching Weasel. Oh, this band, they covered the Screeching Weasel song, and it was really good. I guess I'm gonna load my phone up and rock out to some Screeching Weasel today in the, in the box, so. Here we go, let's go rock the gas station. Gas station log, it is July 5th, 2018. Man, it's been a hot couple of days the last couple of days. Finally got a, a window unit in my house that keeps the whole house cool, surprisingly. So yeah, that's nice. All right, well, it's gonna be a screeching weasel kind of day today in the gas station. So let's go rock the gas station screeching weasel style. Gas station log. Hey, what's up, everybody? So I've been listening to a lot of old music today, reminiscing, talking to you know some people I know that are in bands, and it's got me old times. So I guess it's story time with Steven again. Back in the day, I used to write music and record music, and you know over over about mm, 12 years, I recorded about 10 albums worth of material and played in a couple of bands and had friends that were in other bands and you know it was just part of the at least up in Peoria, Illinois um, but you know I had a, I was part of a circle of friends that were part of the scene we'll put it that way you know so I used to go to shows occasionally and um, I put on a couple of shows and, and it was really it was a lot of fun and I really miss it I've tried to get back into it but I swear it's like 
God directing my life has basically shut that door and said, nah, it'll be all right. You don't need to do that. And I'm like, but I want to do it. And it hasn't happened really, so it's too bad. I'd love to play in a band again. Um, I'd love to, you know, play music again. I'd love to record music again. Um, I'd love to be able to get back into, you know, promoting and putting together shows and getting a hold of bands. That was fun. Like, it's a lot of work, but it's fun. You know, putting, getting a place to have a show, uh, getting a bunch of bands to come, playing the show yourself if you can. That's, that's the way to do it right there. It's just that I don't know enough bands. And plus, where I live in Kentucky, nobody would come to shows. It would, like, this is, this, this environment is not pro putting together shows. But man, I just, man, I miss it. Why, Jesus? Why won't you let me do that stuff? It's so much fun. Uh.